Alright guys, so I just thought I'd do a quick video on this Canelo versus Golovkin fight that's going to be pl taking place in September. So if I'm honest, I haven't really been following this fight that closely. Um, I didn't watch the press conference or anything like that. But I, I, I looked into it today and I saw that Gennady Golovkin has been saying some uh, suspicious things in regards to Canelo. So... The first thing he said was Canelo's going to help me retire from a financial standpoint. Now this is the, the classic Canelo payday. Um, obviously his, his opponents say oh I'm coming for a payday like Billy Joe Saunders said um, um, t pick me money up and go home and that whole term payday is associated with Canelo um, and Golovkin is pretty much admitting that he's going to get a payday from Canelo and um, it's probably going to be his last fight because he's also said that um, he, he hasn't got long but long left in his career and this is probably going to be one of his last fights if not the final fight so with him saying these things um, it got me wondering is, is he going to come to fight this time um, now obviously as I, as I said earlier um, we've seen guys talk about the money before, like Billy Joe Saunders. And obviously in that fight, he was missing Canelo's head on purpose. And um, in the end, he was leaning into Canelo's uppercuts. And he usually pulled out in the corner just after. So obviously came for the paycheck, didn't come to win. Um, and I was just wondering whether Golovkin's going to do the same. Now, in the, two, in the first two fights, he did he did come to... It appeared to me like he came to win at least. Um, obviously he won both fights but he never got the decision because you can't beat, um, win a decision against Canelo. Obviously Bivol did it but I think that was a bit of a humiliation ritual to be honest and um, I don't think it's going to happen again. So in the, obviously Canelo after the Bivol fight his career is a bit on the ropes at the moment. I mean he took a paste in in that fight. So what better way to um, get the excitement back about him than um, stopping a man who's never been stopped before? Um, if he stops Golovkin, um, the fanboys are going to be excited. Canelo, uh, Ring Magazine will probably put him back up to pound for pound number one. And it uh, plays into the Bivol rematch, doesn't it? it? It generates excitement among the casuals for the Bivol rematch. And at this stage, um, Golovkin probably knows he's not going to win the fight. I mean, if he didn't win the first two, um, he didn't get this uh, decision in the first two, he's probably not going to get the decision now. He, he probably knows he's not going to get the decision now that he's 40 years old and he's regressed since those fights. And um, I mean, he, couldn't, he didn't knock out Canelo in those first two fights, so he, he, he probably will just come for the paycheck. And, yeah, he'll probably just lay down and then he'll retire after. So, yeah, I just wanted to give a few thoughts on this. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. And, yeah, thanks for watching and God bless.